Hello and welcome to this video which is going to form part of a series of videos helping you to crack every single skill that you need as an A-level science student. This video is going to be about your practical competency which forms quite an important part of your overall learning but can sometimes be overlooked when it comes to revision. To be a good scientist and to prepare for a scientific degree if you want to go on to do that you need to be able to identify lab equipment and explain how it's used in a variety of lab contexts. When it comes to your A-level science the aim is that you are able to do each of your required practicals without the need for any help whatsoever and that your skills and knowledge of the practical are such that you could offer help to somebody else if they needed it. To get to that stage there are five competencies that you want to be thinking about in your revision. One, an ability to follow written instructions. This is straightforward as long as you can take a list of instructions and follow them through to a T and get a set of results at the end of it, then that's perfect, you've nailed that point. Two, applying investigative approaches and methods when using equipment and materials within the lab. So really knowing how each of the instruments um, and pieces of equipment available to you work and how you can use this to answer certain questions. Three, safely use a range of practical equipment and materials. So a knowledge of symbols on bottles that denote how toxic certain substances are, what sorts of things you need to be thinking about. So if you need to do a risk assessment, what are the risks associated with the equipment that you have available to you in the lab. Four, making and recording observations. The key to this is basically just having neat handwriting and a clear setup of how you record your results. And five, research, reference and report your results. So these five competencies will be assessed as you move through each of your practical lessons. But as long as you can pay attention to each individual one, this can inform your revision of the practical element of your A-level science subject. I would say that the place to start with your practical revision is in that very first practical lesson that you have. When you're doing your practicals, you really want to take the time to make a note on each piece of equipment you're using or each material you're using, why you're using that particular thing and how it's helping you to answer the question that you're setting out to answer. A lab book is non-negotiable if you want to have the higher marks and your school will probably provide you with one. If they don't then you want to get one that has a hardback or a plastic covering so that if you spill anything on it it's not going to completely disintegrate or the ink inside won't bleed through um, rendering it useless for future reference. You can use a template like this one on screen for how you structure each of your notes going into a practical lesson and really the key thing is writing neatly so that when you look back at your notebook in a few months time you can understand everything that you did and record everything for one experiment in one place within the book so that you're not having to flick back and forth to have a look at the different results that you got. So plagiarizing in general is a big no-no but especially in science you want to make sure that when you record your results Although you will be working in groups and therefore have the same um, scientific results, you want to make sure that everything you're writing down in your pad is your work and that you understand why you're writing it down and what it means. So make your own notes and observations about the experiment, write down any further questions that are being prompted as you work through and make sure that you're not just copying from the person next to you. So that's something to think about within your practical lessons, but when it comes to the end of your practicals, how do you then go forward with revising these ready for your exam? Luckily enough, exam boards do have practical handbooks that detail all of the skills that are associated with your practicals, as well as detail on each of the practicals and how they might come up in the exam paper. Have a look at apparatus guides as well. So I know that AQA give you downloadable PDF documents for each practical that you do within your subject that you can download and have a look at and it has photos of how the equipment gets set up as well as notes about that practical. OCR provides their practical content as kind of its own specification so it gives details about what the practical is, the skills that you develop and how this links back to the wider specification. There is actually loads of help on the OCR website when it comes to your practical competencies. Have a look through these and make sure you download them all and save them somewhere ready for use in your revision. Edexcel also have a practical document as well as diagrams of how to set the equipment up. So basically just have a look at all of the documents that are relevant to you and the subjects that you're taking at A-level. There is loads and loads of help out there and if you feel like what your exam board has provided isn't enough then have a look at some of the other exam boards because there's probably some overlap in terms of the practicals you do and the skills that you need to develop. A good method for revising your practicals and making sure that you're remembering each element of them is to basically redesign the experiment. So use a randomizer to give you the title of your practical and then spend 10 minutes writing out the methodology and the experimental design. After doing this use your practical handbook or the information on your exam board website about practicals to check that you actually got the experiment uh, methodology correct. And and if you miss anything then highlight these gaps and kind of 
go back through them again and refresh them in your memory so that next time you test yourself, you're able to recall all of the elements of your practical. You could then transform this into a flashcard activity. So you could do quick fire naming of apparatus or matching the practical name to the practical setup or the apparatus to the practical name, anything that kind of challenges you to remember what went on in each of your practicals. Now, another part of your practical competency that you need to be getting right each time is the use of key terms. Pause this screen to take a look at all of the key terms that are on here and see if you can give a definition for each of them. If you can't, then work towards being able to do so. This is super important when it comes to practical questions that come up in exams or just any exam question. If you use a term out of context or incorrectly, you will lose marks. If you have a look through your practical handbook that we were talking about earlier in the video, there should be some sections that go over how practical competencies will be assessed in the final exam. AQA have some fantastic guidance when it comes to practical questions in the exam. They give examples in the practical handbook. I think OCR might as well. I would definitely recommend having a peek at some of the other exam boards um, documents that they have for practical skills because a lot of the time there is overlap and a lot of the things like key terms cross over because it's scientific, it's not exam board specific. And of course you need to be doing exam exam questions about practical assessments the same way that you would do exam questions for various topics when you revise them. The practical side of any A-level subject is more interesting, I would say, than the more theoretical side. So really take advantage of your revision sessions on this part of the spec. Having a familiarity with lab equipment as well is so beneficial when it comes to university because it means you just save time having to learn that all again in your first year. Thank you for watching this video. We do have another video about practical skills which you can watch just up here. To keep up with these videos, you're going to want to subscribe to Snap Revise just here and to check out some of the other stuff that we've offered to help you with exams, this video is a good place to start.